In this video, we're going to see the new features of Vault App version 1.2. In the left menu at the top, you'll see a new button has appeared, Insert. Insert gathers several add-on features like nodes, templates, projects, blocks, and the FAQ. And a product FAQ is also integrated to answer several questions. It replaces in the top bar the old Add Node buttons that appeared when you were in Editor Mode and when in editor mode and add blocks when in preview mode. With the new insert button, adding a block in the editor mode of a node will automatically switch it to the graph mode of that node. However, the reverse is not true. Now adding templates and projects allows you to access the presentation sheet of an app template or node or its projects, and to import all of their nodes into the node tree of the current project. Data mode. Four main modes are now displayed first in the toolbar. The preview mode. Editor. Graph. And variable modes are already known. The data mode is new. It allows you to control an advanced and secure database to manage its data, users, and storage. It connects to the Supabase tool, which is available online, but can also be used offline, just like your Volt app generated app. A more in-depth tutorial on the data mode is now available. The console. The console, formerly the debug menu, is now represented by an arrow symbol. It always appears only when the app is launched in preview mode. It allows you to dynamically analyze the state of the variables of each node in real time via its variables tab. It also allows you via the log tab to have access to a history of the app's event messages displayed with the log block, formerly known as the debug block. Linter. The linter appears as a bug icon, which is available in all modes. The linter is a tool that allows you to list errors that prevent the proper functioning of the project, such as type of variable that is no longer compatible with the place where it is used, for example. The linter also gives warning about bad practices or useless things in the project, like unused variables. Search. So search is still represented by the magnifying glass icon, but it's now on the right. Devices. Devices is always represented as the screen icon, which is now on the right. Device states. The device states allows you to condition the layout of a node according to the detected screen ratio. There are four states, responsive, mobile, tablet, and computer. And so now it's possible to test a mobile state on a computer device view.